Well, my name is Steve Ridgell, and tomorrow I will have been married 49 years to my wife, Marcia. And over 49 years, you learn some things about how to stay married. So for any of you watching this, I want to share with you three phrases that will really help your marriage last a long time. Now, I need to tell you, because we're Christians, there's a little more under these sayings for us than for any, but they'll be good for anybody at any time, and especially if you're a Christian or thinking about being a Christian. So let me share with you three phrases that I think really matter in our marriage. Number one, I love you. You can't say that enough. We say it when we hang up. It is, we always say it. Last time we see each other for the day, whatever it is, we always say, I love you. A little awkward. We're used to doing it that there are doctor's offices and admin assistants and people all over who have heard me say, I love you as I hang up. But that's okay because we tell each other that. I want to hear it. She wants to hear it. We need to tell each other that. But it's also a reminder that we love God more than anything. And we do. Marsha is a much better wife because she loves God more than she loves me. And I want to love God more than I love her because it makes me a better husband. Because God is insistent on how we treat our mates and how we love our mates. And so if I love God, I want to be a better husband and I will be a better husband. But I also want to tell Marsha I love her. Number two. We say thank you a lot. Man, I, I, it's so easy to take each other for granted. There are so many things my wife does for me that I've got to remember to say thank you for things like fixing breakfast, cooking supper, helping me in the yard, keeping our home clean, but, but even bigger things like thank you for the way you help me raise the kids. Thank you for the way you interact with our grandkids. Thank you for the way we're such a great ministry partnership together. There are just so many things I need to thank her for. And I really appreciate it when she says to me, thank you. And you know, there's a Christian element to that too, because we are really thankful to God for what he's done in our lives. I, I just can never thank God enough for giving me the gift of Marcia, but man, for the things he's done in our marriage. That are just incredible for the kids he gave us, the grandkids he's given us. God has just been so wonderful to us. I can't thank him enough, and I want to tell Marcia thank you. And number three, the phrase that's really up to our, our marriage considerably is, I'm sorry. You know, none of us are perfect. There's not a perfect husband out there or a perfect wife. None of us are perfect mates. Now, I've had to say I'm sorry a lot more than Marcia has. But I'm going to tell you, there's nothing like looking your mate in the eye and saying, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this. I didn't mean it the way it came out. I think maybe there was an edge to that that I wish wasn't there. I'm sorry. Always followed by thank you and I love you. But I'm sorry is important. You know, it's important for our marriage spiritually too, because sometimes we have to say we're sorry to God, even as a couple and as a family for things we didn't do or did do and wish we hadn't. But sometimes it's just a matter of, of me getting down and saying, God, I'm sorry I wasn't a better husband. Help me be better tomorrow. Thank you for giving me another chance today. And I love you and love her. So I'm going to tell you, those three, three phrases will mean everything in your marriage. Say them to God. I love you, thank you, and I'm sorry. But say them to your mate. I love you, thank you, and I'm sorry. And so to my wife, Marcia, tomorrow when we celebrate 49 years together, I love you. Thank you for choosing me every day, and I'm sorry I hadn't done better, but I will with God's help. So I love you, thank you, and I'm sorry. They'll change everything.